All right, guys, this is a beautiful day to be out in the state of Texas. I'm gonna take the GoPro out for a little test run. We're gonna see what kind of footage we can get out here at 5.3K. As you can see right now, everything looks beautiful out here. All right, guys, this is the full rig set up. We have the wireless Go here on top. We have the GoPro Hero 10 in the Yulanzi cage with the GoPro adapter using the snap mount on the GoPro shorty stick. So let's get out here and see what kind of footage we can capture. All right, guys, we're going to start off in cinematic mode. You guys see what I'm seeing here? That's our setup. It's very windy out today. All right, guys, we're going to start off in cinematic mode. Did you guys see what I'm seeing here? That's our setup. It's very windy out today, so we'll see how well the road wireless goes handle the wind. So we're just gonna walk around a little bit around this little lake here in Sugarland. You can see exactly what we're finding. It's a few people out, but for the most part, most people are maintaining their distance, which is good. I think I came out at the, <laughs> the right or wrong time. Looks like there's a birthday party of some sort going on. Here's a little butterfly. So we can see if that 5.3K can catch those little details. Give you guys a quick pan around so you can see what's going on out here. Let's get a little close to some of the foliage. Like I said, it's a beautiful day to be out just to get some air. This weekend, I really, really hope to be out on my bike, enjoying some of this beautiful weather. I'm going to try a couple of time lapses, a few other things, but this is the first footage that I've really shot with this GoPro. Now I do have a UV filter on the Yulanzi cage. Hopefully that won't have too bad of an effect on the picture quality. But overall, I think everything's going to come out pretty well. I'll check it out later. So let's get a little bit close to this tree. All right, guys, we're gonna just take a little walk around here. Sugarland City Hall. I think you guys have seen this setting before, some of my previous videos. But this is a much better view of the area. This is a big tourist attraction right here.
we have the large Christmas tree that they set up this year. And I believe they set this up every year. See their seating outdoors? A lot of people come here every year and then year round when the weather's good. Just hang out, enjoy time with family and friends. So if this doesn't put you in the season, I don't know what will. They even have a Santa out here that you can take photos with. So if you're looking to do a little bit of shopping, enjoy the weather, because it is a beautiful day out here in Sugarland, as you can see. So hopefully the uh, 5.3K footage will do this justice. I won't know until later when I have a chance to review some of the footage. But from what I can tell by looking at the back screen, everything looks pretty crisp, pretty sharp. So this area has a number of outdoor and indoor uh, dining, hotels, my favorite right over there, Starbucks. <laughs> Even a little novelty shop that's right here in the city hall area. So it just depends on what tickles your pickle. You can probably find it in this area. Now, where I am right now is just a very small section of this whole park. So as you can see here, the park itself or the mall itself is very extensive. There's a number of different stores here, all types of businesses, free parking, valet parking, shuttle drop-off. So there's a little bit of, you know, something for everyone. All right, guys. So I'll walk around here a little bit. If I see anything that's interesting, I'll definitely add it to this video. All right, guys, I am in a new location. It is definitely much windier than it was the first one that I was at earlier in Sugarland. Now I'm over closer to my part of town out here in Katy, Cypress area. So we're just kind of wandering around another little mall. Check out some of the decorations. Also checking out the stabilization on this GoPro Hero 10 and utilizing the uh, Rode Wireless Go. I do not have the wind jammer on because it keeps falling off. So to prevent myself from having to spend an hour looking for it, I'd rather just take it off. So let's see what kind of decorations they've done over here for Christmas. So they too have a relatively large Christmas tree set up out here. They have a play area for the kids. This center also has a directory that pretty much outlines everything that's here, different businesses, you know, what you can find in the area. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. So we are a little overcast. And for this time of the year, uh, the sun's starting to go down. So we're going to get into some of those um, darker scenarios here pretty quick. I'm going to try and find a spot that I can set up and do maybe a little time lapse out here. At least a few seconds, you know, 
so we can see what it looks like. Most of the pier, it appears to be that they're doing some uh, construction here. So I can see that a lot of the pier has been shut down. But this is still a pretty cool little spot. I'm gonna go over down to the other far end and see if I can set up this camera for a little time lapse. So we'll see how that goes. Now, a lot of the residents here in the area, they use these little independent docks. So you have little slips that you can bring your boat over. So if you live over in the subdivision that's across the water, a lot of people just, you know, bring their boats over on the weekends. Like I said, you know, this is Texas, so we don't get a lot of the winter weather, at least not this early in the year. <clears throat> so I think if we get any winter weather at all, it'll be in January, maybe even February before we start to see, you know, some really cold weather. So I'm going to find a spot somewhere around here where I can set this camera up and just let it do a little time lapse. You see some people out here on their boat, a little pontoon boat. I think this is a good area to start, but originally what I wanted to do was um, set up my time lapse on the other side of this little lake. And there's really no easy way to walk around. So I'm gonna have to go all the way back over toward some of the restaurants and then go to the other side and I'm gonna set up the time lapse on that side. I don't wanna be facing the sun, but I definitely want some of the sunlight to come in. All right guys, so I'm gonna check with you on the other side of this transition. All right, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Uh, this is my final view out here at the um, little lake in my neighborhood. So hopefully you guys like the footage. If so, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. If you're not already following me live on Amazon, I'm live on Amazon Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. So the link is down in the description. Please follow me on Amazon as well so you can watch some of my live tutorials. All right, guys, I will catch you soon. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, take care of your loved ones, and get out there and create something amazing. All right, guys, peace. I'm out.